This is this is kind of the way that uh, originally I thought TNC would beat Vici Gaming is hitting them with different strategies. And look what Vici Gaming's been forced to do. They're saying, yeah. okay, you're not gonna do the Naga Siren against us. You're not gonna do that OD that won game one, and you're not gonna get Earthshake, Earthshake or Morphling. Do you have a four strat that can beat us? And I think <laughs> TNC does. At least somewhere in this best of five, right? Yeah. In the next three games, I think they're going to be able to come up with something. There's a Venno in there somewhere, right? Yeah, there's still uh, a, maybe a Venno pickup. They don't actually, they gave them, uh, I thought they were going to ban the Night Stalker, okay. give them Void and say, hey, we've got the Venomancer against yeah. it. But they give them the Night Stalker and Coddles out in the pool, too. So, so this you almost time feel like you have to take that coddle here. Right I now. mean, we've seen plenty of teams give up Try the coddle to, yeah. to the Night Stalker and. Ooh. Only some of them have been successful at it. Yeah, surely you take it. Something like uh, Cottle and, and, and a carry that, that does well against Night Stalker, like Cottle CK. Cottle CK, yeah. Even with someone as uh, as strong as Gabby, even like Cottle Lifesteal, I wouldn't even be bothered to pick that out. Chen oh, oh, out. Okay. Well, oh, there is the, you said they got like four right. strats capped. This is strat number three that we've already seen from them. Chen out. Right. You, you know the win condition, and you got a good five. I mean, they banned the Marana too, so it makes the Chen even stronger. They oh. pick Timber. Okay. That's a nice little swerve. They don't need the Coddle so much. They need to address this Alchemist as soon as possible. So, Ancient Apparition, mm -hmm. Timber Saw, those kind of heroes. And they are good versus Alk, but g give me, what's the downside to drafting two cores in the first phase? Like, there's definitely a downside, right? Uh, you know what your side lanes are. Yeah. Like, almost straight up. Maybe they can run Ori. Mid Night Stalker was it Vici Gaming who did that? I uh, believe there is a. The tournament. I think they've ran the Timber uh, yeah, yeah, and the Night Stalker. Vici, mid Vici, Vici actually. just yeah. run yeah, Night Stalker Night every Stalker. single, every three, like every one of yeah. the three lanes. Yeah, they can. So that that is one of the downsides is that uh, you know at least one of your side lanes, so it's probably going to be the Timber Saw matched up into the Alk lane, um, and, it is and they melee. can do safe lane Night Stalker. And there goes the Shadow Demon, the hero we were actually discussing a little bit ago. Looked like a tier one support almost up there with the, the Chen and Keeper of the Light during group stage, and then it just kind of fell off during the main stage. Yeah, he was seeing a decent amount at the summit as well. Oh. It kind of kind of ended up falling off later on to the tournament as well, just like here at the Major. Yeah. I mean, it's a good save. You got nice burst, right? A lot of people pick him for <laughs> that burst, but there's some <laughs> stuff. Whoa! Having a good time. Having a good time. Good time with your friends. Yeah. Going to uh, going to Dota events is just a good time. You, know, it you is go, a good you time. hang out, and you get to watch Dota. You already do that at home, but you're actually with real life people. Makes it even better for most people. <laughs> Not as comfortable, but no. well, I can't believe they don't. Night Stalker Timber just straight up two cores. They really and it is right. We talked about that. Is the win condition is Alchemist, so you yeah. should look to shut him down. So you ban away the Ancient Apparition. Surely you're going to ban away the Coddle too, right? Well, I feel like because Coddle is so good with Timber and Night Stalker, right? It's oh, yeah. Yeah. amazing. Double pairs. Double burst. Death. Double Against, burst. Yeah. That's a yeah. real thing. Yeah. That's nasty. Yeah. And we'll see. Obviously, Vici has the next ban. See what they want to take out first. You might be afraid of, uh, like, the Omni Knight pairs really well with the Chen and the Alchemist. Yeah. It shortens mm -hmm. the duration on Whirling Death. Um, which is, yeah, oh. a lot of love in the crowd. I like yeah. it. There is. Yeah. Then March, we saw him with that stoic pose with the water after last game. You saw, do you guys drink? I, I did notice he did the thing where it looks like he was gonna take a big gulp of water, but like he barely sipped it. You know what I mean? No, I you think. Did not notice yeah. that? No. Okay. That's you very, know, very, like very observant. He did the thing where the brought. bottles like just flat instead of like at an angle i don't know you know i'll talk to mark maybe he's putting it, water so what you're into saying the bottle. he tipped yeah. it all the way up <laughs> no no he did but he, he only le left it sideways oh. instead of like actually drink it but it looked oh. like right he was doing it real <laughs> stoically and i'm like what's he got here no. china dota number i believe one? that translates as a megalol number one <laughs> oh, <megalol. laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just the one what? Southeast Asian <laughs> fan in the Chinese crowd. crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be an Omni yeah. band, so that yeah. hero, it seems, it, it's funny, Omni was probably the least of those three dispelling mm -hmm. offlaners with ABBA and LC in the group stage, and now Omni's the most coveted out of all of them. And it just goes to show, even with this meta and patch lasting so long, stuff changes all the time when ideas change. They banned Slark. Oh. Yeah, the... That's another one of those matchups against Alec that can be really bad. 
don't want to get out carried here. So can you fit in a brake mechanic? On the on TNC? Yeah. I'm really worried about, uh, like, I really want them to shut down this timber saw somehow, but with the Chen pickup already, it feels really awkward because Chen is quite bad at dealing with timber saw because he, he brings anything. creeps to right click you, and that's timber saw's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Love is that's in the air in Chengdu, man. Love? That's I thought he was strangling what? him. Well. What? 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 Well, you know, people have that, you people say people love. that fetish is wrong, you're you know? <laughs> That's a freak, uh. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say, Grant? I like it. There we go. So yeah. much That's love. love in the air, yeah. I love it. It wasn't reciprocal, though. Oh, can we see? TNC, they're like one game off. We could already be going to TI. We just got to win this one game. Yeah, okay. There's, uh, there's a decent answer to, to Timbersaw. And yeah, Leshrak, a hero that... Mm -hmm. A lot of us mm. think is very, very strong. We just haven't been seeing much. It's been getting, what, like, second phase banned a lot. Uh, Mickey was one of the biggest players of it, obviously, out of the tournament already. Why do you like it versus Timbersaw? Just the heavy magic? Yeah, just like this really heavy magic damage. Ten seconds that, uh, like, Timbersaw is one of those heroes that just slowly does damage over time, and he uses Five his tankiness to dole it out. But you now you've got a hero that actually matches and exceeds him when it comes to that damage over time. Coddle, and I think uh, I would actually like to see Nyx maybe for uh, for Vici Gaming because I think it's also Ooh, good versus okay. Alchemist. I mean, because he gets his radiance right, and you just can't control that damage. And the spray as well, the and the, as well. the edict pulse. Nova, yeah. you're right. Very good for both those scores. <laughs> Legion Commander with the is going to be able to set up the last track for a lot of success. They probably wanted some sort of save mechanism for the Alchemist. I mean, this is. A, do you think this is more leaning towards a four less rack now, or is it still? Do you think it could be middle? Oh well, VG Gaming has to show first, so I think yeah. they've got that opportunity. The whole they can do, uh, you know, they could do safe lane less rack and mid alk, or vice versa. They can do four less rack with the last Legion game. Commander. Yeah, they've got they've got options. We'll see VG Game, and every second matters here. It's been it's been a rough two games. Let's say no, I mean games I, look great. But I've definitely got to say that overall, that this draft it looks like a massive improvement. You like it compared to okay. game one and game two. I think you know look at you look at game one and game two's draft and you say you know these are very hard games for Vici Gaming. This time they've got you know four well what three yeah, according to your right. tier list of three S tier heroes. You know you're gonna feel pretty solid with that. Yeah. Uh, a, a Timber saw that's gonna be up against what two strength heroes doesn't care about the Chen. So Vici Gaming, this this game three draft is is already so much better than what we've seen from them in the previous two games. So Night Stalker doesn't actually have the best catch in the world. Um, that's why he usually goes his Blink Dagger. He's got this nice slow, but it's not amazing. And Coddle's pretty good with his Will O' Wisp, but I think he wanted more catch. Hmm. For me, uh, I was thinking Disruptor from a support position, yeah. and then Kunkka from a core position, right? Because Kunkka is just one of those classic heroes. Good Plus, he's going to be able to give you uh, like this Coco's Rum, which will help against that damage over time from the Lash Rack which I think is quite nice. Um, and it gives you, it just gives you a nice team fight, right? Because you were kind of oh lacking geez. it a little. Obviously, Timber's not like, I'm going to go in there, control a team fight. But uh, the Night Stalker, Kanka, you just kind of control an area now. Yeah, TNT wants to be able to dance around you a lot. Yeah. And, and they make you fight yeah. together. VG Gaming, though, like, they were in a position where they had to be able to dance uh, around the Timber Saw last game and get this PA mag more and more farmed. Uh, this time around, they're saying, you know, TNC, you're going to have to do that. We're going to have, like, a bunch of catch because we know Timbersaw and Night Stalker are going to overwhelm you. You won't be able to fight back in a lot of uh, a lot of early engagements in the Five first 20 minutes. Remaining. They've been out the Shadow Shaman from TNC. Don't want that. Obviously, strong four position in lane, and, you know, it can just clear waves, push towers. Not a bad team fighter. Get rid of it, because as we've seen, we've been seeing this more and more, right? Teams just don't really care about tower hitters anymore. I mean, obviously, TNC has a decent one, but on this side of Vici Gaming, they got nothing that can hit a tower, really. You're just going to yeah. win a team fight and slowly push towers. So they're like those range heroes that are good against melee, like your uh, Razors <laughs> and Vipers and, okay, Huskars, yeah. Just ban it out. We, we've seen it before. <laughs> obviously, yeah. I don't have the TA, but you're like, we don't, I mean... All four, of all three of their cores are melee. Husker, pretty decent against them in lane, yeah. especially. 
So four positions. Uh, Hanga points it away. Whoa! So Hanga. no disable, but you you have Kunkka Coddle. I don't know. Very greedy. Yeah, it's it's a bit. It's not like the best roamer in the world. Whoa! Whoa! whoa that's a detail. Whoa! Fuzzy <laughs> was he? Ass is into the game. That was almost an F tier <laughs> hero. That was, I thought. I okay. 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 Well, you, like, uh, what's, what I really like about Vici Gaming's lineup is that they can run this so many different ways. It's going to be mid Kanka. It's going to be safe lane Night Stalker. Uh, they're going to run the uh, this Ursa into the Timbersaw lane. I like that. Or which, do you? Yeah, that's just I one of the yeah. go-to counters you've you've had for a really long time. Dude, I Ursa, think, I can't believe we're seeing it. I think you're okay as Legion Commander in the Night Stalker matchup. Like, Night Stalker during the first five minutes is kind of weak anyway, so... You're good with that. Uh, and then the mid matchup, Armel versus Ori. Again, Alk versus Kunkka. You know, Armel at some point is just going to become a screw beast. off to the jungle yeah. and, you know, start farming up. And Tim's, can, Tim's will replace him at some point in the mid lane uh, as a Leshrac. All right, who are you guys feeling? I liked VG Gaming's uh, lineup a lot. I thought their team fight was fine. I, like for for me, Pango adds a lot more team fight with his Rolling Thunder. I thought that part of the game was fine. Uh, I wanted just a bit more catch. So I'm not sure about that Pango last pick. You think it's a three zero then, Cap? You calling it? I don't know, dude. It's so hard to bet against an Alk lineup, and they have an uh, an Alk lineup with like at least one lane winning. And it's really important. You have to win at least one of your lanes with these Alk lineups. You need one of your cores to go off. I don't think KP is going to have a bad game either, right? I think both of your side lanes are going to do well. Okay, I just need to hear it from you guys right now. Only the names of the teams. Fiji Gaming. I don't want to see a 3-0. Let's go, Fiji. That's Vici. not the name Come of the on. team, but yes. TNC, Fiji Gaming can't hit towers, take yep. objectives. Game's going to go on. Alk's going to get big. Okay, we hear it here. It sounds like uh, we, we, these two over here think it could be a 3-0 for TNC. Do our two casters feel the same exact way? It's going to be Lyrical and Trent. Thank you so much, Grant. Holy moly, Trent, there's an Ursa. The big bad bear is finally here. Unfortunately, he's very bad. F tier, really they bad. say. It looks like a great Ursa game to me. Yeah, uh, he can hit the Will-O-Wisp. Really oh, oh yes, I have prayed for this Look day. Look at him go. Oh, this is hard. the greatest taunt in Dota. Oh, Gabby. And he's been so dead since it got introduced in the battle pass. Oh, it's so obnoxious. Can, I mean. Can I tell you something real we quickly? We just need Cowboy Ursa with this thing. <laughs> I... I tried to, I, Ursa was one of my jungle quests. It took me 15 games of turbo to win as Ursa. Now that could say something about me, but it also says something about this I hero. I think that's just you, dog. That it could just like be good me. Turbo? <laughs> it would be normally. He seems but like he kind of fit the bill in that I, mode. I will say that I'm very bad, but Ursa is not a great hero. 15. The plus side. The plus side. Oh God, I don't think it's going to take VG 15 <laughs> games to win one. I was I was very committed to getting that, uh, that, that set, but it's really good against the, the Timber Saw here. I feel like Ursa is a pretty solid hero, and Pango also needs to be careful about where he swashbuckles around, and Gabby's just being a nuisance. He's I'm, playing his symbols. I think the, the taunt adds a lot to the mental game. He doesn't end up getting it, but I, yeah, you're not trading, dog. I got an Orb of Venom, you got an Orb of Venom. Do you, you want to try and use your Orb of Venom right now? Does that sound like a good idea to you, PYW? I don't think so. Oh my god, Gabby, this is amazing. I love this. Dota's a great game. Your taunt's taunt, not taunt as good. Taunt on action. Yeah, your taunt's old news, dude. <laughs> this thing's the fresh new kid taunt. <laughs> Gabby right. is taking his hands off the keyboard. He is just A-clicking on PYW. <laughs> Are there any other interesting lanes? No, we don't care. Coddle Night Soccer? Wow. You know, the, the panel going for the Alk draft. I mean, come on. It's Coddle Night Soccer. That's pretty broken, too, right? If uh, this Night Soccer is off to a good start, he has uh, other heroes that play at that similar tempo. Uh, but... I think Cat made an excellent point in the previous game. We talked about like giving Timbersaw a good lane. Very important. I'm not so sure Timbersaw has a great lane here. No. I feel like Timbersaw needs a Chen or something to help out his regen here because going 1v1 into a, an Ursa, not going to feel great. PYW is pulling the lane back, and uh, hopefully he's going to give some of that over to Yang. It's got to be one of the more frustrating lanes to play against his battle going on. Ori. Ooh, That's my man. Genius. He ends up getting out of there just barely. That was very close to death, but Ori's very good at math. He does the numbers. 
Yeah, uh, three armor to work with in the old acid spray. So it does help out uh, for the damage. But oh, oh he gets a tower shot there too. Back to the tower, the safety. Gotta bring yourself another south. Yeah, it's coming on the cart here right now. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to watch, but like this and Monkey King, one of the more frustrating ones to play against. I thought that they were gonna bring the Coddle down bottom so we could get some of the double whirling death plays, but you can see already that it's just more along the lines of get the pull from the uh, get the pull on the other side from the Pango and then get whatever last as you can behind the tower. Well the problem is that uh, Night Stalker for the first five minutes is pretty much a creep. As or Oria will not be able to finish out the kill there. Uh, so he does need some assistance in the lane. He can't be left to his own devices versus Legion Commander. Things will probably get very ugly for Eurus. Right. And uh, one problem that you have. Uh, ooh. Oh my god, Man. Yang. Just gets ran down by Gabby. That's first blood. Gives him the tip. March saying, I can make anything work. And then uh, he's going to SD to the tower because he, he bought out. Gets his boots, has everything ready, has a wind lace, and he's going to TP back in time for this tower. So perfectly done there from Gabby. I, can I just say that I love how you've incorporated melee terms into Dota, SD to the tower? Yeah. That's great. I didn't even. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, it's great. I love it. It's perfect. Uh-oh. They're keeping the pressure on here. KP will not stop the push and pressure onto Night Stalker. And oftentimes in these games that we've seen between these two squads, it feels like the team that's just coming out ahead in the early goings is the one that runs away with it. Do you think that's a similar thing here in this game? Uh, it looks that way with the heroes we have. Like, the most important thing is that VG has to come out uh, like with either the Night Stalker or the Timber having a good lane. Like, Kanka's going to be fine. He's going to be whatever. But he needs a friend that can roam around and map them to throw up boats and try and get kills. And it can be either of these two heroes. He just needs one of them to have some success. But I'm worried about this top lane. It's starting out okay. Like, he's 12-0 in the Night Stalker. But DY, like, can't do anything. Yeah. I played this earlier. It's like Leshrac versus Coddle. And the Lesh just, he just stands there. He has so much solo damage on you with the Edict that you can't run into him at all or you just die. It's We've very irritating. Good chemistry. A really tough matchup there to get any type of zoning out. Like, March. he can't even pull. He's just stuck. And that, oh my God. <laughs> Tim's is just working him. And now he forces an Edict out and yours is like, oh, okay, thanks. So now I have to tank this whole thing. At least Tim's not able to connect on the stun. Now they're going to be bullied around up there, it looks like. We did see March get at least the range creep pulled off the other direction as Gabby is just going to try and pummel into Yang to the best of his abilities there. He's going to need to keep those stacks up if he wants to be defensive. And Alchemist, top CS. This is a dangerous thing. We've seen it before, particularly when you have that Chen on your team. And Tim's is just going to bully back DY yet again. And uh, all the talk of DY being level one, but guess who else is level one? It's PYW. Both their supports currently have, all, like, Almost no XP. PY at least is almost level two. Um, PYW, it's by choice. He's trying to give as much as he can early to Yang. X, chase forward. They got a TP in coming in from PYW, but did not have Swashbuckle, and that just means that he's going to soak some experience. In the meantime, Yang getting level four feels a little bit more comfortable now against the Ursa. And with the stacks up there, he can stay in this lane. Gabby getting a little low here. Be yeah. careful. Yeah, there's three mangoes there. So Yang, you know, he's got some decisions to make here. He goes in for it. Oh, I must be able to get him, but not quite. Need another swipe. That's only one mango, though. Uh, and PYW's going to get both the bounties. So that is a nice win for VG, forcing the Ursa all the way back home. On to KP as he is going to try and run away from here. VG getting those three runes, and KP looking like he is going to be giving up his life to Eurus. As the punch comes through, and the Night Stalker claims his prize. A huge minute right there for VG as long as Yang gets out and should be fine. So they just got a lot done. Forced the Ursa all the way home. Unfortunately, it's versus the Chen. Uh, but at least he can't like TP in for a, a dive or something on another lane. Right. Which Ursas can sometimes take advantage of. And uh, still has, uh, actually, he's all his mangoes. But he does have Arcane Boots now, finished up on Yang. Uh, the problem, probably PYW has to figure out exactly what he's going to do. A Radiant Scan spots that PYW is in here. And Tim. he's going to be spotted holding the Observer Ward, but uh, Tim's will, will stop him from placing it more than likely. Yeah. Also trying to interrupt some stacks, it looks like, there. Yeah. As that will not succeed. DD up top. Going to be left behind for Armel to help out his laning a little bit as they want to retreat back to take those stacks. And you already know that's where PYW is going to be. He places the ward on the other direction. So right now, Tim's is underneath it. We'll see if they're able to 
suss out where that one was placed. Yeah, that's a, a nice spot to go because it doesn't get spotted by the, the cliff sentry ward. Well, meantime, KP still able to stay in this lane and Alchemist continuing to sit top of the net worth as PYW trying to interrupt, but the punch is coming with the D. They actually forces him all the way out. Gets the slow. Dude. It's a dangerous game to be playing, trying to mess with that elk, the DD rune. So six and a half minutes in, a little bit of a gold lead here for TNC. What you would expect with the elk lineup. We'll see if they can continue that pressure as Tim's just going to be granted the mid lane for a little while. Armel back to the jungle. Great job from Vici though. You can see Marsh just missed the stack. Uh, there's a, a ward blocking in the bottom part of the jungle. And uh, they stopped a couple of stacks already before. So they are trying to slow down this out, kind of how TNC has been playing, right? In terms yeah. of these like mag lineups, uh, trying to keep them slowed down as well. So big nuisances, but it does come at a cost in terms of the XP. Uh, I'm guessing the uh, the advantage probably, yeah. Uh, it's only about 750 if you're TNC, so nothing too crazy. A little bit of a lead for the moment. Let's see if they can keep that up. Uh, Gabby, so far, was forced back that one time by Yang and needs to be careful here because Chakram can very quickly eat through the bear. As PYW, again, just sitting there farming, soaking the experience away from wherever he can. But it's still Alchemist getting pretty much everything that he wants. You see that Hurl Boulder come out from the Chen Creep, forcing back Eris. Yeah, and that bottom matchup just started to turn a little bit. Uh, like one rotation, it's, yeah, Gabby just runs in mid. Not <laughs> prepared <laughs> for the sudden bear attack. Yeah, man, this is a problem. He's still just level three, and he just got level three on that Pango. His top lane, they're gonna use the boat to try and bring down KP, who is going to eat the brunt of that gank. I love what Gabby did there, though, right? Because like he's not sure where PYW is playing, maybe. Then he sees him in mid. So because like he doesn't want a single rotation to come down, he gets shocked once and he just dies to Timber plus one. So yeah. he, uh, he says, you know, I can probably get a free kill mid. I, I don't really want to be tangling up with this, uh, this Timber. As he, well, oh, he decides to. He has the ulti. Danger. Turns to fight, wants to do it, but that ulti wearing off. He has to be careful about Yang jumping back in, <laughs> trying to pull the creep wave away. And Yang's going in after him. Chakra dodge off the mark. Are they going to be able to get him the duel? It comes out at the last second, and they find that finished. Sick play from KP and Gabby. Uh, that's like, you think you're calling his bluff? It's like, oh, that's Ursa. Come on, there's no way. I got a free kill here. He looks so low, and then after being so oh. close, he now gets pulled March. in on top. They're going after him. PYW again in some trouble, still just level three. He's on the cliff. He gets up there to the high ground, tries to get the blinding light push he away. Gets the Possibly going to make it work. All right, March is just going to die. PYW can come down when he sees fit. Well, in four seconds. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and he's down. Maybe. Maybe he just wants to be a you know cliff hero. I don't know. Well, I would say uh, moving into the uh, Radiant Triangle before 10 minutes is a pretty good start so far for VG Gaming. Just a 1k lead for an Alchemist team. The Alch he's ahead by 800 gold. He's also got double Bracer and 2,000 gold. So RML's not exactly skimping here on the build, not just like flat out rushing because of the, the lack of kill threat he's had on him. Duel comes in again, and with Gabby in the area, that is a nice duel partner. Kills him off. Yang looking for a follow-up, but Tim's is already there and steals away the bounty room. Very important against these ALK lineups to try and come and contest those whenever possible. Yeah, it's a very back and forth game right now too where uh, TNC are just trying to spot where that pressure is succeeding for Vici and then try and mirror it on the opposite side of the map and to uh, secure some early duel kills here for KP. Yuris knows about this. He passed by a ward there. And with the blind light pushback, Gabby is going to stop the charge forward. So the other thing to think about and what this Ursa gives you besides just that nice beginning to the laning stage is the Roshan ability for them. If they can manage to win a fight. Yeah, always an important thing that you're trying to play off when it comes to that hero. As Tim's, whoa. Hi, guys. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, and a bit deep there. And he buys out. Okay. Right. Bolt. I'm not sure where he thought they were. I will say that every single one of those boats that I'm seeing, though, is not one on the Alchemist. Alk hasn't really been oh. affected yet. As All right. They get some pressure up there. We're going back to game one. They're smoking now with the Will-O-Wisp, and uh, Ori has no boat. Oh, my God. They do the same and thing And they're coming again. near a shrine, too. March. He 
He's up front and center. They're going to run into some creeps, and March realizes it heads away. But the X is going to be there, and the Chen is going to have to give up his life. Save the creeps at the very least. Rolling Thunder coming through. And it does not feel like anybody from TNC wants to stop this. Yeah, they just leave. KP's dragging the creep wave again. It's like his ABBA play all over again. Well, meanwhile, RML happy with his own creeps just off to the side there. Yang going to come on through. Well, we'll, we'll pick up a couple of them with that acid spray down as Gabby and Tim start to pressure this tower. Leshrac already three points up in that edict. But as the movement comes now, DY turned around upon. They got the sleep in some trouble. Gabby pulled back in. Torrent connects, and poor old Gabby is looking at the lights, but eventually going to die. Trying to use the maximum aggression of the Ursa to secure this space, but that's going to give up a kill streak now to Ori, who's already having a very good game, second only to the Alchemist this game, and also very close to Eurus, who's closing in on the Agnums. He's just a component and a bit away here from finishing that up here. Should probably be done by the 16 to 18 minute mark. So, what does this game look like to you once that Aghanims comes online? It's probably going to be a similar timing for when this Alk Radiance is done. Do you think that? You want to try and get aggro? Is it too scary I fighting into the radius? You just kill everyone else. Okay, got uh, it. I mean, yeah, if you can get a good jump onto the Alk, that'd be good. But they don't really have good saving heroes with the Alk at the very least. Sure, they have like the Chen heal, but there's no like, uh, there's no big like Heavenly Grace. Maybe I guess you do have to worry about the, the purification, or rather the uh, the, uh, press the attack. Yeah. Ursa, it's gonna be X pulled back in again. Does have the enrage to try and turn and see if he can find that kill on a PYW. Would love to get it and just it will take him down. Space created and he gets a kill. TNC still making some moves. I mean, you're like the second highest hero on your team, though. It's you can't true. just be trading for these like level six supports at 14 minutes. That's fair. I think uh, Gabby's just going a little bit too hard. I, you're right, he is like making rotations happen that, again, it's another boat, not on Alchemist, who is still deathless. So there is something to be said for that, because now he's done the Radiance recipe. And continuing to accentuate that lead, it feels what? like right now it's almost everything for that Alk. But uh, the reason why like, I kind of uh, see OK fights coming the way of Ichi is that although they have a save and press the attack, it's not really the right kind of save for this game because okay. even if you press the attack, someone is like in a shock room, they, they're still just stuck. Yeah. Right? Uh, in the Kunkka combo, maybe you can get it like the perfect moment it's going to wind up working, but that seems pretty unlikely too, right? Uh, you might have to wait till post boat, and then there's going to be all the other follow up stuns anyway. Danger, danger. He doesn't have his ulti. Armel in some trouble, and they got the Will of the Wisp afterwards as the big old jump comes through. Eurus finds that kill and March. Also, going to be going down. And best possible person to get the kills, it's yours. He now has the Agnums complete, and they're already winning these engagements as uh, they, we now have time until, ooh, what, 30 seconds now? Yeah. And his ulti just ending. They want one more on KP. Can they get this? A nice kill for them if they can. Press the attack, trying to run, still stuck in that chakra, and they get the oh kill on a KP. God. And now we just head right into the nighttime, too. This is such a crucial time for Vichy. They need so much done in this nighttime, and they should be able to get it. I mean, this Agnims came faster than anticipated because of the kills. So now you just need to try and turn this into map pressure and try and choke out where this Alchemist can farm. Tim's going to be X, pulled back in. And Ori gonna say no, although the stun, oh, Tim's, what a player. He gets the bounty rune. He's gonna pay for it, it looks yeah. like, but uh, you Where's know the disco taunt? This Tim's. happens. Oh, oh happened a real fight. Ursa, he's gonna die also. And Tim's, he's juking and jiving, trying to escape. Torrent a little bit off the mark. Loses the vision with the X, throws the bow out. I'll do it Tim's myself. And the rotation. It's a double kill for yours, though. So. All right, yeah, he goes from top to bottom to secure the second kill. Everything for my carry. Like, you want a job done right, you gotta do it yourself. A little miss there on Yang with the timber chain. We saw in that last kill onto uh, the Legion Commander as well, the power of the double whirling death from Yang, particularly against these strength heroes. Yeah, we have that. We have the double void and the giant AoE in combination with his crippling fear too. So all the caudal combo is gonna be coming out here. He has it max as well, so. He is prepared for maximum spam. Oh, I mean, we didn't even talk about the Pango one. That one's great, too. He has a oh, lot yeah. of great Shocker combos this game. Uh, the Caudal one, it lets Pango just double. uses uh, Swashbuckle. You need to be careful. This is the 15 to 20 minute mark where TNC are very vulnerable 
to this Aghanim's coming from the Night Stalker, 10 seconds away from ultimate. Gabby bought these drums, so he's missing that next oh, item. They gotta be Blink so or Vasher. He really needs it. This is really dangerous. The chase forward. They've already got the Ursa. Can they keep him alive? Press the attack. Trying to live through this one. They don't have the out care for this fight, but the tool on the other side, they're controlling the Keeper of the Light, trying to get him before that ulti came out, but they are not able to find him. Now the chase coming, they get the stun there. Onto yours is a big kill, they can get it, but the nice blinding, blinding light, light push back, and now Gabby trying to turn on a PYW. They can't find that kill, but still the Ursa able to live. They got the extra regen coming in now with the Coddle and the Shrine, or excuse me, the Chen and the Shrine, and that's gonna reset the fight. They're gonna smoke their way out of there back to the Shrine. Still nighttime, perhaps still looking for an engagement. It'll be without the Dark Ascension. But uh, TNC defend, they hold their high ground. They have to use a shrine of their own, but they're able to keep Gabby up and uh, keep him fighting here too. Very important from the KP. He's targeting him with the press of the attack so that he's not gonna be blinded trying to use these uh, overpower and fury swipes and actually bring down one of these heroes. Oh, and they have the Will of Wisp this time too. Will o' Wisp on top of a Night Stalker Aghanim's Void is terrifying. We've seen it a billion times. See if it can work out from here, although the Night Stalker is nowhere to be found. There is Radiant Vision up here, and DY is going to scout that oh, out. Oh, so. got to be careful. They got their eyes on Tim's. He's caught. He's killed. Yang takes it. Now looking for a bit more. They've got the X on the other side onto Armel. Oh, they're going in. Wisp down. Press the attacks available. Armel in a little bit of trouble as they take off that stun. Still going to be controlled. He's living yeah. through it. Not going to happen. And that's what I mean by not heavenly grace. You oh, know, it's not man. quite the same versus these spells. Even though it looked like a pretty good timing there from KP, it's just nothing you can do when there's so many layered over top like that. The status resistance gives so much more value there. And the other thing too is, I don't know if Chen was in range right there of getting the extra heal off. It looked like he was a little oh, bit yeah, too far back. I mean, even if he was, I don't know if it would have mattered much. No. Well, VG Gaming, after a very disappointing Game number one and two are looking to try and pull this one back and get a series started. There is a 10 second BKB available for RML uh, for the next engagement, so they will have that. Uh, there is no Spear Vessel though, so at least VG haven't like invested in something that's now nullified. Right. Uh, you kind of expect that, right? Versus a lineup that has like press the attack maybe, or I guess uh, obviously that's a dispel, so that's uh, probably not that great. But uh, <laughs> versus right. announcements in general, we always like to go for it. Oh, close there, taken down. Gabby. So we get closer and closer to this daytime. And so far, TNC have lost a lot, but it feels like they've maybe faced the biggest brunt from Beachy Gaming so far and have not lost too many tower. Oh, bottom tier two went down also. We'll see how it goes. Next couple of minutes will be very telling. I wonder, do you even think about just like running into the Roche pit at some point or smoking up for it for TNC? Yang, stunned. Oh, that's that's cool. all very far. Chase down. Need to be careful. They get the big torrent, the one to three. The Roy Thunder coming through. It's going to catch on to two. Do they have another round? See if they can live through it. Yang is already out there. Has the whirling death. The PKB is out from out. Armel wanting to do damage, but he's not doing enough. They kill off KP, and that's a defensive PKB that doesn't get them anything. It was uh, just an inch of a timber saw, but it gave a mile. It, it kind of just closed a little bit more distance to help out for the rest of the VG Gaming's reinforcements to come through. And the perfect time to win these fights and pick off more heroes uh, as the bounty runes are now up. They'll secure a singular rune for themselves. <laughs> oh, Gabby was able to sneak Gabby. in one. Yeah. They got the other one. Oh, sorry. Marsh did too for the death. I got gotcha. you. So 20 minutes in as the Dark Ascension wears off. We'll switch over to daytime now, and let's see what TNC can do at this point. Still only a thousand gold lead for Vici. They're gonna try the this, oh, it's an Ursa. He didn't know that their bounty rune was taken. And now Ursa, slow down, can they get this kill? They'd love to be able to make it happen. Void, not that long duration, and will wisp not gonna be able to keep him alive. That was close. Big win for TNC there. Yeah, there was no BKB for RML, so he probably wouldn't have been able to chase through that. 900 gold given to Gabby, and they're right into it. Uh, that is probably the best hero that could have gotten it. Because oh he just needs God. this item so desperately right now on this Ursa. He, he needs something to help out more of these team fights, and uh, it's a fully completed basher. And they used Will O Wisp to take that fight that they lost, and now right into the pit. TNC going to secure themselves in Aegis. Surrounding cast, the Alchemist is still a little bit behind, but uh, with the help of this Aegis, 
It's uh, one of those items that you really want versus like the big will o -Wisp spells and everything. It's going to try and give Gabby a second chance at engaging these fights. He's got the low cooldowns on the overpower, the Earth Shock, mm. so uh, a second life can be very helpful for him. Someone like the Alchemist, uh, the Aegis is a little awkward because like when do I chemical rage? So right. you can understand why they'd rather give it to Gabby instead. Just let Gabby run in there. Be He's a doing a great job. So what about Vici Gaming now? They had a little bit of a flood there at the end of the night. They've got Ags, almost BKB on the Night Stalker now. And they have the Halberd on Ori too. So they're you know, targeting specific heroes here. Uh, the Halberd, good versus both the Ursa and the Legion, does okay versus the Alk, but mostly it's for the Ursa. Oh god, KP. Oh god, stay in the trees, are they gonna find Yeah, they got him. All right, see you later. He is going to get ran down. And they actually oh. popped OT for that. Pro probably thought there were heroes TPing in because he started running towards ah. the Shrine. I was uh, a little bit concerned for that. That's a nice play then. Better to, to play it safe. Ooh, up top, Ori comes through, but uh, the TP will get Armel out at the time. So at this point in time in the game, it's six kills to 18. Is there a team that you feel like much more comfortable playing as right now? Do, do you think that, that Vici kind of have it in the bag? What do you think? Uh, I personally just always hate playing against Alchemist when it feels like he hasn't been shut down that hard. Like okay. you, you still, you feel like you're winning this game, and then you look at this guy and you're like, guys, he almost has heart. I, I can see his inventory, and do, are we gonna have the damage to bring him down? Like they have somewhat sustained damage through team fights, but it's like constant magic damage, right? It's like these voids. The, they don't have a right clicker. I mean, Owen pointed out at the end of the panel, like, they don't really have a, a great tower taker. So yeah. despite the edge they've had, they're still a tier 2 top. I think they've done a good job of clearing out towers. Right. Uh, but you can imagine maybe if they had a little bit better sieging, they could have uh, potentially had a tier 3 by now. Well, and throwing out that Diabolic Edict. Armel going to pop the ulti Yang. Moving into position, but there is nothing there for them. So TNC secure themselves a second tower now. And uh, Eurus is trying to do his best, split pushing. He'll still get the wave onto the tier three, but uh, Gabby there in time, doesn't allow a single hit onto his tower. Get away from here, he says. And the hired is now done. Blink Basher done for Gabby as well. With uh, eyes on a BKB next. You know, you look at some of these heroes and potentially being able to get an Aghanim Scepter delivered to them. Ursa's a great one. Yeah, Yang is feeling so oh, strong with the Shivas, though. Yeah, and March, I mean. Is he going to hand a god this? Oh, oh, he doesn't have to. All right. Look at that, Armel saving his buddy. And right nearby there is KP in case anything gets a little bit too dicey. Tim's seeing if he can juke out from Ori, but the X is going to be there, and the rest of VG show up in turn. Going to find themselves a nice and juicy kill on the pony. Yeah, kind of doing his best KP impression this game. Just dragging waves, trying to help the team, trying to get a little bit of farm on his hero. He's done fairly well. He's ahead of the, the Pango. Yeah. Uh, despite the Pango, like, I mean, the last track 0, 4, and 2. The Pango is 2, 2, and 11. <laughs> and the Lesh is more net worth. Like, kind of just shows, like, how well he's been diving. He actually has uh, only a few more lessons, too. Yang underneath some vision. March realizes his problem last time. He tries to TP out, but it is not going to happen. He mana leaks him first, I think. Oh, wait, no, that's no chance for it. He died too quickly. <laughs> and this is one thing that, uh, despite all the changes to the oh, Alchemist. God. Oh, all right, all right. Gabby. Uh, they still have a ward there. Not de-warded, despite DY being so deep. Dubious. Yeah, a little, a little strange there on that one. So both of the position fives are going to get taken out there. He moves on to Yang in the mid lane, too. Gabby has that Aegis only for another 40 seconds, perhaps, hoping to uh, force a, a bad fight maybe for Vici. A very strange game. Again, it doesn't really feel like Vici are playing with a lot of confidence right now. Like, for as much as they were, you know, kind of just getting the ball rolling, that one time where Yuris got picked off, and they haven't done anything since, really. Oh, well, slowly you roll. You know, it's nighttime now. We get 25 to 30 minutes. So if EG wants to start making plays, this is it. The BKB is done for Yuris. He's ready to start diving in the back lines. Uh, they should be able to kill the two supports. Yeah, very AFK. Okay. Uh, and now the acid sprays down. The rest of the team is not here. Can they kill him off in time, though? Do they have quite enough of the tank? They do. The big rolling thunder coming through, but they don't have the timber saw for this fight. Very awkward series of events here as they jump in, tried to time that one, 
see if he could find a bash on the outset, but Gabby not able to get it. Yeah. They do not have Dark Ascension. And look at this, TNC, even at nighttime, they're willing to press forward and try and take the Steer 2 tower. Yeah, he couldn't get the pipe popped in time uh, on the timber. Maybe that could have helped him, but uh, yeah, as he said, just gets caught in the river, the low ground. No vision advantage there. Timber does not want to buy back, obviously, but TNC going to take this moment to get themselves even further out of the hole. They did finish an AC on Takunka as, well, Marge potentially going to be left behind yet again, looking for the turnaround stun. Armel thinking about going, throws out the concoction, but it looks like it's just to run away. So they don't actually want to take that fight yet. Yura's still chasing. He's pinging. Got to be careful. Ooh. Ooh. He wants more, though, and he knows Alex out of mana. And they know that Gabby's not here, too. Okay, they pop out the Spirit Vessel, get the runaway, and... Unfortunately, Ori can't quite keep up uh, yeah. with the X. Right, yeah, Yuris is a bit too fast for him. So they, they really need to get vision control over this area, though, now for the side of EG Gaming. Uh, try and uh, find some sneakier observer wards. Notice when the Alks trying to move in here, and most, most importantly, just start setting up for that next Roche. But they didn't have any sentries with them, so there's not going to be a D ward on this high ground that has been here for so long for TNC. Yeah, it looks like DY is really trying to finish out the, uh, the Glimmer Cave first. They put the Tinker Ward down on the top lane here, but Armel is standing in front of everybody else. They the tool duel on the, on the other side, they got him caught. Gabby's there, they're just gonna bring down the timber another time. I mean, they were pinging the high ground. DY pinged it like four oh, times. Oh God, one by one. Beachy Gaming, I mean, this is almost all of nighttime wasted now. I mean, that's just, that reminds me of Abed dying by yeah. that ward, where it's like, yo, there's a ward there, just you know, dog. All right. And then he just dies. And then you just die. Like, it, it looked like they pretty clearly said there was a ward. Well, Roche possible to respond in another 50 seconds. We'll see how long that timer is. But for now, at least, it feels like after the first debilitating nighttime, this one's looked a lot better. They do place down an observer ward, I believe, within vision. And we'll see if KP heads over to try and he's not quite in range. But they should realize that this was there. Heading up top. Looking for a dual victory. This has happened just like, I think, three times in a row now. The mid-tier one, the mid-tier two, now the top tier two. Every time it's just someone just dies yeah. outside of EG and they just freely take a structure. And it's slowly just like resetting this game. It's still only a 1k lead for an Alchemist draft, so we should be thinking that TNC are in trouble. But unless you can just get to the back line and kill these supposedly weaker heroes, then, it, you know, your advantage means nothing. All right, they x Mel. They still got the BKB. They got the press the attack. They just do the old walk away. And now, seeing if they can make something happen, is Yuris on top of the Chen. Can they get him out of there? Holding on to that BKB. Hold they the try and turn the fight. Can they make it happen? Not quite enough as of yet. As they have down that little wisp still hanging on to the BKB. Needs to pop it now as he turns to kill off that and then just TP away. All right, he's fine. Armel has been very good at using the uh, the BKB. At, like, like he always just waits. Uh, Tim's does get a lot of damage out of the tier three. Yeah, we'll pay for it. But uh, Gabby tried to jump and save March. So instead of like playing with his alchemist, he tried to just combat Yuris one v one because he thinks, yeah, th this is a guy I can take. Right, this is kind of my job in this game. Is that <laughs> I'm one of the the few heroes that can go versus this uh, this night soccer and do something. But right. the uh, the mini stun got him. And uh, he didn't pop his BKB, so now he's still sitting with the 10th seconder. And Gabby's crazy. Like, Kunkka was over in that area. He very easily could have just X'd him as he went on that Night Stalker for a second. But confident in his own ability. We see now Roche going to respawn in 40 seconds. And already Alk is queuing up an Aghanims after finishing off that AC. Ursa, a very good hero to give it to. Yeah, I don't think there's a better one. I don't think KP particularly needs one, at least not nah. yet. Like he doesn't have any real damage to speak of. Chen, I suppose, there's a an argument for, right? Okay. Chen Ag's obviously extremely strong. Uh, but I, I would agree that the Ursa should be the obvious one because Gabby just needs a little bit more help. As he's chasing DY, but the Glimmer Cape that he wanted so desperately is keeping him up. All right, now how lucky are you, DY? Not very lucky at all. Yeah, just in rage and <laughs> purges it all off yep. of him there. It's he, he's going to hold that for you every time. So Gabby gets that kill, building towards the Abyssal Blade next. And 
as we've talked about a couple of times, it just feels like every one of these kills sets Vici Gaming just a little bit behind in their timing, and it's not working out for them. They, they haven't taken that big fight that they've wanted yet. As Gabby is going to be pummeled a little bit here by Yang. Chased down a little bit. Yeah, He's got I, I sense another... Ooh. Not going to go for it. I, I really thought they were just going to dive for that duel. I'm not going to lie. Like, no Coddle. They They're, probably think Coddle is buyback. This is crazy. They're running right into the pit. Uh, I mean, Vici gave me know about this. Looking for an opening. Yang already into it. They have the Dark Ascension down as well. Maybe going to look for the BKB pop in just a second. Can they do it? Aegis, Yuris able to snack the Aegis. He did it to him. And now the turnaround, though. Can they win the fight afterwards? Timber saw so low, and they managed to bring him down. Yang's going to buy back. Can they find any more? Duel there onto the Night Stalker. He's taking a ton of damage. They're going to bring him down. The Duration, no, the Willow Wisp. And then the Blinding Light push away. They keep Yuris alive as Yang is back into this fight. Looks like Vici Gaming are coming back into this one as they take down three. Armel also to fall. All right, well, that was a lot uh, in that one. So uh, I'm sure we're going to be able to watch that one again. A uh, couple, obviously, the big damage there you can see from the Kanka coming up for the most part. Huge problem in this fight, I would say, was that PYW pretty much did nothing on the Pango. Uh, he comes inside and he just rolls into two BKB heroes for about five seconds straight. <laughs> so thankfully, the other support comes through with the giant easy button of the Coddle and, and helps control everyone after that tour. You see Tim's gets caught out, March gets caught out, everybody. The BKBs are down, so uh, forcing those out nice and early in the fight, which, you know, of course they partially did by PYW diving in, although the BKBs just grab the Aegis's. Uh, that's going to help you out. Oh, Gabby again! Oh, finds him on the back line. This guy turns now to fight, pops his own BKB, wants to take down GGs. PYW. He has Swashbuckle, he has Roll Away. He's going to get out at least for the moment, but Gabby chases and gets the double kill. Ursa's a bad hero, they say, as they run him down, but he's looking pretty good here. Press the attack available yet again if they want to use it, and Gabby's still hanging on to that cheese also. Need to be careful about this one. Looking for the follow-up. They get the duel onto Yang. He's in a little bit of trouble as the boat comes out. They're going to have a big old buff here, keeping themselves alive as they do bring down that Legion commander. They need to be careful. Armel so is chase. respawning. Tim's trying to do whatever damage he can before he goes out. And it looks like that's going to end it as, well, Ursa just runs away again. He still hangs on to that cheese. They need to come in here and help him if they want to keep him alive. The buyback comes from both yeah, the other supports, I, but he goes oh down. Oh, no, Tim's, why'd you come? I, oh, I don't think that was worth going no. in. I, I think that there's a miscommunication there Ultra because kill. Gabby, I, I don't think, wanted to use the cheese. I think he's like, there's no way that I, I live with cheese here, right? It, so did, I'm just going to die. Did yours get the nullifier off? I couldn't quite see. Oh, that, that might have been it too. Jeez. Uh, it looks like he did. Yeah, so there you go. I, I don't think, if he cheeses, I think he just dies anyway. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't going to pop it. And they don't have buybacks right now. H how much are you going to go for here if you're Vici Gaming? You saw some of them buy back. The mute, the turnaround, press the attack. Keeps him alive for the moment. Willow Wisp yet again. Armel trying to live through this turns to kill off that pesky globe of light. And it looks like Vici are just going to be content here to take down this set of racks. But do they go for more? They've caught the Chen. Marge out a bit too far. Again, the buybacks were on the Lesh and the Legion. Only one of those heroes still is alive. And Legion gets jumped on Muted and gonna get killed off. Vici Gaming all of a sudden has blown this wide open. And off the back of one terrible fight, TNC now in trouble. Yeah, their siege isn't the best, but uh, as long as you can keep the, like four or five heroes alive, hitting buildings still gonna go very well for your team. The, the giant numbers like they do right now, and Yuris is doing so much in these engagements. The, the nullifier, like he has reached his kind of peak power in these fights. Uh, although they were keeping the net worth lead close with the Alchemist, uh, and even the Ursa, the rest of these heroes are just fodder to Yuris. He just hops on top of this Leshrac, this Chen, or this Legion, and they're absolutely done for. He is queuing up an AC, so probably should be talking with Kunkka about what the hell's going on in this one. It's all right. I'll do separate lanes. It's fine. <laughs> But we'll see what ends up happening there. Oh, he isn't bombing anything. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. So 35 minutes, 8,000 gold lead. But the big thing is two lanes of racks there for Vici. And now going to be looking for the third. KP's still dead for 30 seconds. Also got the Daedalus done on Kunkka. Yeah, or he's had an absolutely fantastic game. Like, so many clutch Xs. He's running the show for his team right now. Uh, it, it's hard to keep up with a Night Stalker in a game like this, but like, how many of these perfect silent pickoffs has already started for them? And now even a Torrent to throw back the Alchemist after a stun where maybe they could have had a good fight set up. And they have the Nullifier ready if they want to try this on the Alchemist. Gotta be careful. 
Careful, careful. The chase, they instead turn on to Tim's. But the bash, they're on to Yang, the torrent to interrupt. And now the chase comes from Yuris. The invis, no detection. DNC, open to hold on in this one, if at all possible. They pop it now as the will o -Wisp goes down. Armel turns to try and hit it, but he doesn't have his ulti, and the BKB has worn off at this point now. So much damage and control Armel. coming out from Beachy Gaming. They've got him caught. Another round as the double kill comes from the Night Stalker, chasing down Chen March. His only salvation here is going to be Armel trying to run in, but Yang cleans it up afterwards as the Nullifier comes out, and Yang is just going to beat away at this Alk. It looks like this is going to be GG as Vici going to force another game. I mean, you have to be scared as a spectator, I think. If you're a VG fan and you see this draft end, you go, oh my god, they gave him Chen Al. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> you're down two games. What are you going to do? But you see the tempo that they set with these three cores. I, even the, the support Pango, too. Like, they had one mission in this game, and that was just to, to get those first key items on the Kunkka, uh, as well as the Night Stalker, and just start running at you. Start creating these kills, invading that territory, and taking away all that farm. Very well played by Vici Gaming here. And you can see Yang there happy about what happened in that game as he goes out of there smiling. He got picked off a few times, but it's no problemo for him. Um, and the crowd sticking around, feeling like maybe there's a chance for a run back. They've already gone down 2-0. Beachy Gaming, but winning game number three, forcing it to a game four. We'll see what ends up happening. I mean, do you think that this is the turnaround? Have they found their footing? Did they look better? Uh, it's very important for the drafting phase, I think, okay. because now you give them the channel out, you beat it pretty decisively. I mean, there were a couple moments, I think, where they got some of these key pickoffs and towers are just falling, and maybe they're... Right. I don't know if they're going to give it to them again. They might have to, like, work on that trio. Uh, if VG managed to get back the void because of this, I'm going to feel very good about uh, their chances. We'll, we'll see how it mixes up the draft. All right, well, let's figure out what's going to happen in that draft. Let's head back to the panel again, see what they think about that game number three. The turnaround, is it there? Vici Gaming, they pick up their first game, and obviously the most important so they don't get eliminated. And my goodness, TNC, they lose one of their strongest drafts, OD Pixel plus Capitalist. And yeah, they, you, you said it, Cap. They've got these three to four strats. They lost yeah. it. Uh, they, they won with two of them on TNC, and the one they've already lost with in the, the upper bracket as well, Chen Alchemist, it goes down again. Barely. Initial, yeah. Barely. How barely. many people do you think? Uh, you know, we're looking barely. at game three here. There starts to become a comeback from TNC. It's Sunday. You got to go to work tomorrow. There's a big crowd here. How many people do you think are like, maybe we should just uh, oh my God. skip yeah, cool out now and, you, guys you know, look at beat TNC's the rush? Their kills. Oh, there is literally kills? zero oh, yeah, kills yeah, yeah. on <laughs> all of them but Gabby. Yeah. Yeah, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby was, was a fighter, you know. He, he was, was a monster. He was just running into three. <laughs> I know, he's just not only me. No. <laughs> that's, wow, that's pretty damn crazy. So, what? I mean, what really went wrong here? It didn't feel like the laning phase really went one-sided for either one. Obviously, Alks get a farm, but Dyer kept up with it. Where did this really, like, snowball out of control? Was there, like, one fight where TNC just fell behind? They didn't shut down Yang enough for starters. <laughs> I've never seen that with the Chet creeps before. <laughs> All the damage. <laughs> Those are some old, old uh, images. Um, I I don't think they shut down Yang enough. Okay. I think that was uh, a bit of a problem. You have this Ursa matchup. Um, you needed to be able to keep his game like entirely gone. Yeah. Right. But sadly, he was able to come online. Night Stalker was inevitably going to be able to come online. KP walked away from that laning phase. I, I think the first five minutes went pretty well for him. But he also didn't like keep the Night Stalker's farm down. And because they have a Chen and an Alchemist, that's two heroes that you know just won't be able to have an impact in the lane. Right. They won't yeah. be able to like rotate and gank for you. No. So uh, sadly, his only real dual targets were most of the time just. Grabbing the timber saw <laughs> for Gabby to beat up, you know, yeah. that was all he could really do. Um, oh, and what, what what do you feel that game? Was it just was it the draft or was it just kind of this play like TNC? They never really caught a good footing. No, I think yeah, because I think when you do look at the draft, it, it just was it, it took them a little too long to kill anyone, right? They sure you know they have the, this Ursa, which was yeah you know, very exciting to see. You know, two games up, TNC <laughs> like. Well, we can experiment a bit, try something a little different. And see. To Gabby's credit, you know, he, he still had, I'd say, a decent impact. You know, he was running at heroes, taking them down. Most yeah. of them were kind of the supports. You know, it did really come down to the trouble of actually killing off the cores. 
because they had this lockdown, but they didn't really have any burst, right? So it was these duels where it's always like, or oh, were they actually going to be able to kill him can during they? the yeah. duel duration? And and obviously having a carrier, so it's sure, you know, you can do a lot of single target damage, but it takes a bit of time. You know, you got to rack up the swipes, get the hits in. And, and obviously most of the time, it, it, it just wasn't enough because you have these incredibly beefy heroes like the, the Night Stalker who just took over the entire game. You saw his stats, they were 12-1. And yeah. 22, they they really just got ahead, and they didn't give any sort of breathing room to TNC. It looked like there was maybe a chance for TNC early on because you know the the Alk was getting far. You know he, he he was sort of being able to stay ahead, but then it all just sped up too fast, and and Vici Gaming kept kept at this tempo, which is you know we have seen you know this is the reason why Vici Gaming stayed in the upper bracket because yeah. they pull out these performances where they get ahead from the start and they they'll overrun you, and you are trying to be slightly greedy here with the Alk lineup. Yeah. You're just not going to get the time, which which I thought that they may have been able to. I was impressed with just how quickly Vici were able to take objectives. I thought with this lineup, they wouldn't be able to do so. TNC would be able to hold off long enough to get the Alk in a good place. But Vici Gaming proved me wrong. They, they played it beautifully fast. Yeah, while well, simultaneously taking objectives, they were mm. running around catching these heroes like Tim's, who was you know, very much in a suicidal role, yeah. just out there trying to push out waves as fast as possible so you could create more space for that uh, that alchemist that roshan fight was also really important yeah right? there was a potential for tnc to be able to come back if like two things go right in that roshan fight if they manage to pick up the aegis uh and take that away from the night stalker and if they actually kill the night stalker but dy came in with such you know an amazing will o wisp that yeah. managed to grab everybody night stalker lives he had the aegis anyway i think he had the aegis he was the one who snatched it right yeah he but was uh ass, like so. that those two things go like the other way, and then maybe uh, TNC is actually able to make the comeback with an Alk lineup. But yep. sadly, that Roche fight looked like the last stand there for yep. TNC because it had just snowballed so heavily. Once they got shut out, once the map got small, it was just going to keep going like that. I think time after time, they just had no space to be able to farm after that. Yep, that's what it felt like. We do need to take a short break, but when we get back, it's going to be game number four. Can VG Gaming take it to a full game five or will TNC finally close it up? You'll have to stick around and find out.